Hey y'all, welcome back to the pink envelope. I have one of my favorites, full spoilers on the Beachley Summer Women's Box. Now I do have the men's box coming. It didn't arrive at the same time as this one and we are headed out of town soon and I want what's inside here. So we're opening it. I'll loop back at a later time with Beachley Men's. It's another great box. That's the one John gets. Um, but yeah, I'm too impatient to wait. This subscription is quarterly. It's a beach lifestyle subscription. I love it. It's $99 a quarter and they do offer prepay discounts. So if you subscribe for the year, you save $9 per box and your shipping becomes free. If you go season to season, shipping is $5.99 within the U.S. You can use the code PINKENVELOPE to get $30 off your first box. I love great coupon codes. And I don't fully know what's in here. I did customize two of the items, so I know those. But I don't know what the rest of the items are. But after we open it, I will itemize them down below just in case you want to reference a price or a name. Um, so this is the full spoilage for the summer box. If you're a brand new subscriber, you can choose to get this summer box or you can choose to fully customize your own welcome box. Definitely take a peek at it. So let's say you look at this one and you're like, meh, still go take a peek at the welcome box. Basically all of the past items that they didn't sell in their boxes, you get the ability to add to your box, which means you can pick the best item from all of the past boxes and put it in your box. Their welcome box deal is crazy, crazy good. Oh, I was playing on there. This has a retail value of $318, depending on what you customized with. The welcome box, I think it's just shy of $500 when I ran the numbers of items that are in there. So it's really cool. And in the box, you get six to eight premium beach inspired apparel, accessories, lifestyle products, and more. Um, if you do subscribe, go tell me if you got the last welcome box because that last welcome box, I, I actually got one, was amazing since I got duplicates of a couple of items since I'm a real subscriber as well. Um, I was able to share with my mom and sister. It was really, really great. Oh, off to a great, great start with this guy here. What is this? Is this a clutch? That is cute, cute, cute. No, no, it is not a clutch. It is a tote bag. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I wish it was a clutch. I have 70 million tote bags, which is why I say that as a clutch. Let me just put it back. So this is, hold on. This is what it looks like. It's fabulous, super gorgeous, burlap, puka shells, braided, everything about it is fabulous. But when I saw it like this, I was thinking, oh my gosh, it's got fringe on one side, what a great clutch! And it's big, it's a big clutch. Oh well. Okay, this guy is still good. He does have a snap at the top, so it does actually close. Let's see how big it is. Yeah, it's a very good size, not, not super large but not super small, definitely worthy of your flip-flops, a couple people's flip-flops, throwing on um, a couple of beach towels, some drinks, you would have plenty of space. And I noticed the tag says, salt and tumbler, thoughtfully designed, ethically handmade, and eco-conscious. The style is 100% handmade from natural and recycled materials out of India. That's really cool. Because, I mean, it's gorgeous. Like, the bag itself is great, great, great. Love the very natural look to it, but yet it still says beach, if you know what I mean. This is one of those bags where I wouldn't carry it as much as I would hang it. Because, like, it hanging, like, if you have a beach-inspired room, which I do, if it was hanging as a decor item, super cute. Also, <laughs> I don't have a beach bag hanging in my beach inspired room anymore because the last two bags, somebody who stayed with me liked the bag, came downstairs and said, hey, what are you doing with that bag hanging on the rack? And I was like, oh, it's just decor, why? And they're like, I love it, can I have it? I was like, sure, guest gift for staying at the pink envelope house. <laughs> so hey, maybe we'll do it again. Backyard candles, coconut beach candle. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Like, unbelievably good. I think, did, here, let me put this back on here. 
We've gotten a couple of candles from this brand. I have burned them before and they are wonderful. Because remember the coconut base and the logo looks familiar. I can't remember which box. I don't think it was this one, it was a different one. But they are handmade in San Diego, real floatable coconut candles, all natural soy and coconut wax. Three ounces, eight to 10 hours. Genuinely smells so divine. It's a very light coconut scent and it's pretty. So you could just set it normally or you can float it. I've never floated them, but I could. I never even thought about it. Once we get to this season, it's on. I am doing absolutely everything coconut. I smell like a coconut. The house smells like a coconut. I love it. So really, yeah, it's about June until about August where I start getting the itch for fall vibes that we just, yeah, it's all beach scents. And I genuinely look forward to it every single year. We are off to an awesome start. Whether you're near the beach or not, these are summary things that you can enjoy. Oh, this is one of my customization items. So let me show you this first. If found, please return to Hawaii. Please, if found, please return to Hawaii. This is by Goldfish Kiss. And it's a little tank. So that's the front of the tank. And this is the back of the tank. I love, love, love little tank tops. I've gotten a couple of shirts from them. I've gotten like a windbreaker set from them. I've gotten, actually now that I'm thinking about it, quite a few clothes from them and I love them all. I will tell you, they are not the highest quality. Like I'm not going, oh my gosh, the quality is so outstanding. It is definitely something you're gonna wear a few times, especially if you're like me where you wear it kind of frequently back to back to back, and then it's done. I think the only thing that is like, I think I've actually killed is my, uh, it's not white, it's cream Aloha t-shirt. It's a little cap sleeve. I think it has a pocket that says Aloha. I love it. It's so cute. I've worn it all the time, but I've stretched it out. It's like, <laughs> I'm still wearing it for the record, but it, I probably shouldn't be. But everything else, the sweatpants, the windbreakers, the cover-up, uh, the, the sarong, all of those are still in great condition. So I guess it's only one item. Anyhow, um, this is great quality. Very, very good quality. Love the raw hem, raw stitch. I love everything about it. And once again, if you've been watching my videos, I just released the uh, June mini haul, I think it was in. And one of the boxes had a bunch of items that's this color. This color is all the rage right now, and I am so here for it. If you did not choose this item, let me see if I wrote down what the other item was. Oh, it was a packable hat. And it looks like this. It looks so good. Like I wanted to add that on so, so bad. I have a ginormous head. Add in all of this hair and I wear a size extra large. And then when anytime a hat says one size fits all, that means it does not fit this one right here. So I didn't go for the hat only because I think my head's gonna be too big and then I would have been sad. But if you don't have that problem, I would highly consider that hat. It looks really, really cool. And then, I don't know what it is, but it's solid. Oh, interesting. What is this? It's a little, little beach shell tray. Do y'all remember the palm cutting board we got? I love that thing. It is so pretty. It's a um, philodendron leaf that's a cutting board. It's gorgeous. I should just jump up and go get it for you. Uh, this looks like it's made of like that same thing. It's made by Beachley, so it's a unique product and it has this little bag. It says, see la vie, Beachley. Look, that's really cute. Ah, this is so great. So this actually is unique enough that I could put this up in my beach bedroom for like a catch-all tray on a bedside table. It'd be super cute. And then this item was part of my customization for sure, for sure. So I went with this. This is the pink version of this beach towel. It's an oversized beach towel too. It's really big. Let me turn this around like this. So you can see it here. Is it a giant like pineapple? Is that what I'm seeing? And you could choose between the Seaside Retreat Overswim, which looks like this right here, or the Alloy Beach Towel by Spartina, 
there were two options within that customization. I went with this one. Here is what the other one looks like. I, in my opinion, win, win, win. Like literally all, all positives. I went with the pink and then start second guessing myself and then realize there's not a wrong choice. So let me read this. Large beach towel, 100% cotton, machine wash cold, tumble dry low. Normal washing instructions. Thank you very, very much. Uh, the back side of the towel is just white like a normal beach towel. Um, I love it. I love it. There's another item in here though. Broken Top Brands Car Refresher. It is woman owned and it says that it's handmade, made of paperboard and fine fragrance oils. What does it smell like? Does it say on here? Sea salt air freshener. Well, I hate to pop it open, but I'm gonna go put it immediately in my car. So let's pop it open. So what's the thing? You're not supposed to take it right out, right? While designed for cars, the freshener is suitable for any small space, closets, or bathrooms. Oh, that's a good idea to put in a bathroom in a closet. Allow freshener to hang freely to control fragrance, cut along the top of the plastic bag and expose a small portion of the freshener. Expose more freshener as needed. Okay, that's what it is. It's like, there's like a certain way you could do it that makes it like last longer and not like knock you out whenever you get in your car. And that's this right here. So I'm gonna just kind of go like, do, 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 do. Oh my gosh. So salt air, yes, that's, I mean, I get that. But I don't know how to tell you what it smells like. It smells fresh, almost, not baby powder, definitely not baby powder, I'm not a big fan of baby powder. Fresh, it smells fresh. <laughs> I do recommend, it's not an overwhelming scent. So, I do all of these subscriptions annually because you save so much money. So. With that in mind, free shipping, $90 for the box, and we got one, two, three, four, five, six items. And depending on what you chose, you have up to a $318 value in the box. I didn't run the numbers on mine because uh, I didn't know what was in here, but now that I know, I can run the full numbers and I can put that down below. I've never, so I've not always agreed with the retail value. Sometimes I see these retail values like FabFitFun and I'm like, you guys lost your mind. I think the FabFitFun towel is exactly like this one. Just as cute, just as pretty, except for like you can't wash it or something stupid, you have to hand wash it. I don't know, <laughs> it was something insane. But they gave it like an $80 value and I was like, no, that's not how this works. I don't know what they gave the value in this and I don't always agree with that. But as a whole, you always get an amazing deal. It is a bang up value as a whole. I'm gonna show you the guy's box next. Jonathan loves the Ben's Beachley box. Actually, that's what started it all. I didn't even have Women's Beachley. I got him Men's Beachley. He loved it, then I came over here and here we are today. I don't do Beachley Beauty, maybe I should. Maybe I should add that one on. If they send more like skincare, hair care, sunscreen, it's gonna be a great match. But if they send like makeup, I'm, let me look at me. I, I This is me really done up for you guys today. I put on a baby bit of eyeshadow. And then ran down here and started playing with subscription boxes. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss uh, Beachly Men's coming next. Also, throw a hey y'all in this video. Throw a comment up if you can. We're still, you know, testing YouTube's algorithm thingy mabobber they got going on and trying to figure out if a few of you who have not been seeing the videos will be able to start seeing them again if we just get more comments on the videos. Also, one of the surprises I'm working on, I talked to him today and the progress is moving forward beautifully. So there's a status update. I genuinely think a few of you are going to freak out when we make the announcement. Uh, one of the two announcements. I think you're gonna freak out on both announcements, but the one I think that's coming fastest, which you definitely want to be subscribed to. Like, we may even tease like sus subscriber-only releases for this really, really cool content. Not that that charges you anything, it's free, it's completely free, but you've got to subscribe to the channel by going, I'll put the arrow down and subscribing. So, okay, that's all I'm gonna say. Um, let me look over at the calendar. What else do we have on deck? 
Uh, June monthly haul. Oh, I think I, I just filmed it and I think I referenced it like it's already live. That's coming on Wednesday the 31st. Uh, and it has that color green in it. We have a uh, sub summit. I am leaving tomorrow for sub summit. And we are going to do all the sub summit things. Sub summit is subscription box conference. Yes. So I'm going to be finding all the new up and coming boxes. I'm going to go live on Friday the 2nd and I'm going to show you everything I can find. I don't know how loud the background noise is going to be. Jonathan will be with me so he can help. But basically, all of our staples, if I can find the owner and let y'all say hi, we'll do that real quick and introduce the owner. And then I'm going to just go, 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 go on boxes as I find them. It is literally, I mean, I think I'm going to go live, 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 not pre-recorded. We'll have to see what I can do and how many people are where, but like, you guys can make requests. I'll put the camera down and you guys can see the whole front porch and you can point in boxes and say, go get that one and open it and go get that one. So mark your calendars. Um, I'll have to give you a time closer to, uh, but uh, Friday, June 2nd, around lunchtime. Is noon good? Y'all comment below and tell me what time. It would have to be during the day. It has to be prior to 1 p.m. because they shut down everything at like at that time. So 10 a.m., 11 a.m., noon, central time, because I'll be in Dallas. Uh, let me know, because I think that could be a lot of fun if we can start digging through all those new boxes. Okay, you guys, I hope that you're having an absolutely amazing day. I hope that you had a good May. And we're definitely gonna make it an awesome June. There's so many things going on. And if you subscribe to the channel, I'm gonna see you later. Bye y'all.